have and just up, lads, a, a bit of cav. We hunger for they're chilling. They can next turn they can recruit men, which is brilliant. This army is ready to go. This army is ready to. Oh, I don't know. Is it worth it? Because I think the thing is, I want to just like do a preemptive strike, say on Sparta or something, but I don't think I'll be able to. I don't think I've got my army's strong enough. Like my navy, I actually get it down there in time. Oh my god, it's so annoying when it does that. When it just takes you around instead of moving you on. What are we even getting? We're getting back. Yeah, that's fine. And turn again. I kind of want them to... Like, move their armies forward at me. And not... Yeah, there you go. The Athenian army is there. We can hold that army off easily in Apollonia. I think. Definitely with the army I've got. And even if if I can get this army over as well, I'll have to wait another turn before I can get this army over. But when I do get the army over, they'll be, be so strong. I'll be able to push back, because this army is so solid. Heavy legionaries, archers, artillery, really good cav or sword cav to kill their, their missiles. They just, need a, they just need a really strong general, which they kind of lack at the moment, because he's ill-experienced, but he will get experience. Carthage is happy as well, so maybe I can just leave a legion at Carthage as well. Just like a city watch legion or something. Oh, someone leveled up apparently. Oh, there he is. He will do anything for Rome, apparently. How's your assassination chances? Even worse. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and move him in. He can military train that army. Same with this dude, really. Because that will just give them good experience in the meantime. I just have so many. How's our assassination chances on these? Really bad. So let's go ahead and just do some basic stuff on these dudes. Military s assassination. Let's just let's just do stuff to level her up. Cool. They're gonna get her. Yeah, she levels up again. As long as we can just keep on leveling up and probably move her stats towards assassination. What is assassination? That's what we kind of need to... Well, that's what we want to kind of want to boost up. So I guess it's that. Yeah, we'll boost that up to number two. That'll give a better chance in battle. That army's solid, like I don't need to really do anything with it. Same with this army. I just need to kind of watch out for that faction, wherever the fuck it is. Like, it's going to strike me somewhere, I'm pretty sure. So, I just need to look. But it's probably be a smart idea to move men over here, or at least a fleet over here, just to see what they're doing, but I don't really care. They can do what they wish. Uh, also, let's just go ahead and pick up a few more legionaries. That should be enough to defend against what they throw at me. Eight legionaries. It's plenty. Carthage is now happy, which is brilliant. I might just move this army off and just build, like, raise another army there, but just put, like, City Watch there or something. The Athenians as well, moving up their fleet, which is a little bit scary. Ready for orders. I can also almost land this. If we move these dudes there, next episode, oh, not in the next episode, next turn, we will we go ahead. We can probably land maybe down here as well. If we can land down there, that would be awesome, because we can just take Larissa, or even Ath Athens is ready for the taking. We can just go over there. Oh, also we can now build men here as well, or at least legionaries. Rome needs good cool. And the, the nice thing is, with the radius mod, the economy has been boosted, allowing you to have a lot more men, which is just awesome. It allows the enemy to have a lot more men. Well, actually, it allows you to compete with the enemy, which is really good. Ship pumps, I don't really care about ships. Too much. I should probably begin some of this, because, yeah, because then it allows me to get a fucking dignitary. I'm not even sure what dignitaries do, but I guess I really do need, I really should get one, because, you know, that's a, that's a tier 1 tech, and I haven't even got it yet, and I'm like, what, almost 80 turns into my campaign. I kind of just really forgot about it, and just ignored it. But I guess I really should have paid more attention. Uh, yeah, this Greek war is definitely interesting. It's definitely not easy, which I'm I'm thrilled with. I'm I was really hoping it would be a very difficult war, and it is. It is proving to be a very difficult war. We're we're beating them back, and then they're just coming back with sheer numbers. And now I've I've built up my numbers, so I do actually have big ass armies. 
and they're not. Because normally I like to rely on having few men, but they're being them extremely, be like, really, really strong. Between friends. It profits How, you're only one province, Don't though. You agree? I mean, normally I'd be more than happy to do that. Look at that. Just everyone. I might actually get a defensive alliance with these barbarians. Like, they're, they're really big. Like, if I got an alliance with them... And even though, like, for, for the meantime, that'd be brilliant. Because at least for the next, like, two to three to four episodes, I'm just going to be, well, probably for the next, like, ten episodes, I'm just going to be fighting the Greeks, really. Uh, I have to counter the rumours. I can't afford to do that. Ooh, the sabotages. Cool, so, yeah, let's go diplomacy. Let's see if we can broker a deal with these guys. Greetings, friend. Greetings. We will speak together of whatever you wish. We only got trade agreement. can warm our hearts. So, I'm going to offer them a payment of, let's say, one grand. Is that going to boost it up? No, it's not. Let's say two grand, because this is just going to boost my relationship, hopefully. They still don't want to do that, which is kind of sad. Uh, obviously, they'll enjoy a gift. Let's see if they would join in my war. No, I don't want them to join in in the war though, because they'll come take my places. But they'll be able to take these places which I want. I kind of don't want to do it. I kind of want just a defensive alliance. So if anyone else declares war on me, they'll come help out. Which it doesn't look like they're they're up for. Which is fine. I mean, if one of, like if one of these factions were to do it, if this faction was to do it, I'd be more than happy to. Because they are really big. Let us use our time together in wisdom and. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. I don't really care anymore. That's fine. This army is all by itself as well. By the looks of it, I'm just going to scout around quickly with this dude. I serve only yeah, there. It's, that's all by itself. Just wreck their baggage trains as well, which means they can't really move. I'm going to push forward and just kill this army. Because it's not even a good army as well. It's just got it's got weak ass troops. I've got some hoplites, but the rest are just light hoplites. And a load of missiles. Ready for battle. So yeah, we're just pushing forward. Yeah, that was a real massive tactical error right there. Control largest army. Who's else? Oh, we've got some city watch as well coming. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna move in for the kill, really. And we don't, for once, we, we're not actually outnumbered in this war. <laughs> I mean, in this battle. I don't think there's been a single battle, like, big battle, where I've actually had the upper hand. But yeah, this is brilliant. We killed 2,000 Athenians. That's, uh, less, that's 2,000 less Greeks we have to kill later on. And we shouldn't take that many casualties either. Because we do outnumber them pretty much in everything bar missiles. But missiles are for the weak, so... Oh my god, look at them. Look at that army. That's beautiful. <coughs> okay, cool. So let's go ahead and just form up into three lines. Three lines, like so. Oh, if I select more, it'd probably be useful. Jupiter does, in fact, give us strength. My Velites on the front line. Cav on this right flank. General just chilling. Cool. So yeah, this is, this looks like a really sick army. I am very much enjoying this. And our reinforcements should turn up soon as well. They probably just, I actually hope they just sit on this hill, or sit here, I actually advancing, which is a little bit annoying. At least, our reinforcements have arrived. At least our reinforcements are now here. I'm going to be using these reinforcements as, as much as possible, like I'm going to try kill these reinforcements, just because they're free troops, basically. Where does the group end? It ends there, cool. I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to use these units as much as possible. Group them up as well, just because it's a lot easier to move them along. So yeah, I'm going to run these over, these dudes over. And they're pretty much just going to be attacking from this, this right flank, which means I should probably move my cav over to this left flank. Riders of the mark. Yeah, so I should move these dudes over there, really. Uh, group 2. I'm actually going to disband these dudes quickly, just so I can form them up pretty nicely. Because they're, yeah, they're, these are, I'm going to try to use these dudes as much as possible, as I said. Just because they're nice and free. Doesn't take away the amount of men I have in my main army. I have to actually retrain. 
even though it's not really very many of them. At least it gives me more missiles, though. More missiles is lovely. I am very, very happy to have them. Because it actually allows me to trade with the enemy forces. Commander. And for whatever reason, it seems that my lag's gone in battle. Because if you look at the previous few battles, like previous few battles, it kind of it's kind of really jumpy. And for whatever reason, like I've just stuck the graphics up to very high, and it seems to just be working out fine. Maybe it's something to do with a patch, the previous patch, which was just really hurting my my CPU or something. I have no idea. But yeah, at least now the game looks beautiful. Cool, Cav is now on this flank. Which is cool. They only have one unit of Cav, which we should be able to just... Yeah, it's only Missile Cav as well, so we should slaughter it. I feels like a telephone pole there in the distance. These dudes are almost over. They are running. Like, I don't know. They don't really care. I'm just going to, like, throw these, away, these guys away like they are mercenaries, really. Uh, yeah, let's work, well, let's go ahead and speed things up as well, and watch our units get into formation. Oh, I wish freaking CA would do time commanders again, like just do like a like a rally point or something. That'd be so awesome if they did. Also, what I was thinking as well, uh, with cop co campaign, how awesome would it be if you could do like a a like you both play as the same faction, but you both play as different houses in that faction in a co-op campaign, and you both, like, say if you both play Rome, you both go ahead and further the interests of Rome, so you can both have, like, armies all under Rome and stuff, so you both fight for Rome, obviously, uh, and, yeah, you just expand the borders for it and make this one big epic empire, and then, say, one of you wants to go for power and get rid of the Senate, so one of you declares war, uh, a civil war on the Senate, and the other one either just decides to defend it, or I don't know. I just think that would be a really, really awesome idea, and it'd make Carp Campaign because Carp Campaign is so like the idea is just so cool. I just really don't think they've perfected it yet, unfortunately. Like, I, like Carp Campaign is it's not it's good, but it's not like as fun as it could be. I still think there's a lot of work CA need to put in on Carp Campaign. And I think they just neglect it as well, unfortunately. They try and make single player. Just a, this is, is a, that this like amazing experience, whereas Carp Campaign is just like it's just such a good idea. Why do you not want to play a game like this with friends? Because it is just so epic. Okay, cool. So our armies are now ready, formed up, and ready to go. Let's go ahead and advance them. Is there a button where I can just like? Yeah, cool. If I press my number pad, I can do that, which I can advance them. Most of will carry on walking them. But yeah, if they're in group, I can actually just tell them to move up like that. That's really nice. If you wonder how I did, I kind of didn't explain that. If you just my number pad, I, the arrow, so like if I press the eight key, they'll move forward, which is kind of nice. These equites really are kind of aren't in the group yet either. I kind of want to throw my javelins up as well as fast as possible, just to start having a nice missile off with their missiles. I can tell already that I'm going to lose this, this right flank pretty hard, mainly just because their men are probably a lot better than my like city guard. Proud Romans to a man. Uh, these guys should be running as well, I don't, these are only missiles so that's cool. I, I thought the Italians had fire on them as well, they could throw fire spears, but apparently not. I guess maybe I was taken away. So where are their hoplites at? That's going to be like the only problem. The light hoplites we should be able to cut through. I guess they're just going to be in their centre. Militia, yeah. Okay, they're kind of on their right flank, which is a little bit scary. They're all forming phalanx as well. That's kind of smart by them as I am attacking them. But then that just kind of means I can now outmaneuver them as well. As all their units are going to be slow. Meaning I can just attack them really, really easily. With my cav. Quick reload as well. So yeah, because they're, they're out of phalanx I can hit this unit. Really easily. Now I just need to make sure I get them out in time. Get out, please. Just get back. Please get out. Please get out. Please get out. Please get out. Yeah, lovely. They actually did. The majority of them, at least, 
got out as well, and I've, I've kind of thrown them into disarray as well. So yeah, we're actually going to... Oh my god, that's so good for me. Uh, time to break formation. And charge my fellow Roman. The rest of the lines can actually just move up, and I'm actually going to do some sort of like defensive thing there. General can go there. But right flank can still just stay. I don't kind of need them right now. Oh, that Cav is about to charge in, which I don't want to do. The yeah, Navi infantry gets to charge. Whoa, why is he under attack? Oh, he's kind of pretty far forward, which is fair enough. Let's go ahead and hit that fucking Cav as well. Okay, this flank is going to get absolutely annihilated, I'm pretty sure. I kind of need the legionaries up here just to like keep everyone happy and morale high. The car, I kind of want to get rid of that missile cav just because it's annoying. This unit is kind of just sort of standing there. Okay, let's move up the second line as well, just to give them some support. Okay, we'll use the awful troops as well, just to chill. Where's our general at? He's kind of really far back as well. He's not boosting anyone's morale doing that. Yeah, these guys, my cab should just be able to clean up them, which is brilliant. General is moving up. Maybe we can make them route there. We're about to destroy the missiles on that flank. Oh, Velite is just chilling. Uh, Equite is down here. We are, yeah, we're killing their missiles. They should route, allowing me to hit all of this and actually hit their general as well. I'm moving up this unit just to support them, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and hit these dudes now. My general is chilling, which is fine. Yeah, as you can see, their hoplites over here are just killing because my menace is so bad on that flank at least. Where are my legionaries at on this? This army, they're here, yeah, they're just killing the missiles. I kind of should go ahead and support my men over here. Cav on this flank, just killing all their missiles, which is perfect. The battle is turning in our favor. Yeah, so it should be. I'm just going to go ahead and move another unit over there as well, just to go ahead and support them. Don't see why I, why I wouldn't. Their missiles on that flank is almost gone. It's just this right flank which is kind of a, like struggling just a little bit. Just solely because they're so bad. They're not routed yet. They are. They have broken. Let's go ahead and hit my general. Oh, no, I don't mean to do that. So yeah, we've routed this flank now. Let's go ahead and move them forward. Use war cry as well, which would just hopefully affect a load of their men. Oh yeah, this flank will just smash into there. General is also getting attacked as well. And I use the ability, which means I get bonus versus Cav. So hopefully we can kill him. He's back here. Hopefully we can get our hands on him. Oh, we just knocked him off his horse. So is he dead now? Oh, I look like my general anyway. But again, I guess they all do look pretty similar. The men are wavering. Don't worry, you are bad men. You are not very good. Let's charge my general in as well. Hopefully, I can affect him. The general is almost dead as well. Oh, come on, my general must almost be dead. Please. 58 men left. Where the fuck's my general? There he is. He's fighting for unknown glory. He's give, setting an example. Let's go ahead and use our general as well, just to boost men over here. So got this big bulk as well, which I'm just going to kind of sit out for the meantime. Uh, use these dudes to slam into the back of these guys, stop them from getting out. We did actually catch their missiles as well, which is good. Stop them from shooting at me. The general also is going to go ahead and support. So then use war cry. Hopefully, I'll make him rout. I mean, this battle is just kind of raging on at the moment in the center. No one's kind of giving any any legway. We 
which is fine. We will push him back. Look at this. We've got such a big bulk of our men just like shouting, trying to like push. Go forward, man. As soon as their general dies as well, it just frees up so much of my cab, which their general should die very soon. Yeah, so this was brilliant for us. This battle was so good. Just because it, it pretty much opens up. Just, yeah, it, well, it just kills a full stack Greek army, which is just brilliant. Their general dead? When did it didn't even say their general died? Maybe he just broke. Maybe he's getting out. By the looks of it, that's probably him. And he's getting out, which is fine. Uh, yeah, they're routing. Maybe we can make them then break if we just charge them, even though they are obviously just cav. Yeah, as you can see, our line did actually win. Our men push back for Greeks, and they're happy about it as well. I'm really hoping I make these dudes route before they kill my cav. Maybe if I give them a war cry as well. Yeah, they broke from that, which is perfect. How much my, my general actually ran into battle and did something, which I'm I'm really happy. How's that a close victory? So yeah, we absolutely annihilated that army. Hopefully, we killed pretty much all. If we killed the entire army, that'd be perfect. But I don't know if we did. I mean, we don't have any men remaining. We have like. 10 men remaining. It'd be nice if we killed the entire banner, but I don't know if it will actually do that. I doubt it will. Please finish off the kill, because I don't I don't exactly want to chase. Oh, I didn't, which is unfortunate. I killed everyone bar one unit, which is funny. At least he levels up as well. Oh, we did kill it. Good. That's brilliant. That's really, really good. Fuck you, fucking Athens Faithful, whatever it was called. So let's yeah, go and move these dudes back. They need to retrain. The general also needs to be leveled up. Uh, what is this ability? Public order penalty due to uh, foreign culture and corruption. That's not really that great. Oh, he also has a household ability I need to do. You can give him something good. Uh, authority when leading a feat. No, plus one cunning. Cover from winds. On authority. Authority is always good. We could use the, the wise fisherman, which is Will from CA. Yeah, that's brilliant. More, more. And he he's can be. He needs to get his authority up, so I'll boost that up. He has uh, that. Yeah, so that ability will just mean my infantry get level up and becomes like a lot good. A lot, a lot good. That makes sense. Uh, becomes a lot stronger, quicker in battle at least. Commander. These dudes are recruiting as well. This legionary, this uh, these veterans as well should be boosting up their experience. But I kind of need to. Re I really need to get these legionaries in the in the fight because they're just so good. <laughs> With their silver experience. I really do need to get in the fight. Oh, I keep on forgetting. That's probably why people are so unhappy because I just keep on leaving fucking slums everywhere. Ready for battle. Is this legion ready to go? Oh, I can so almost get there. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna risk it. If I can, if I can land an army here, which I will be able to next turn, then that's just gonna that's just gonna open up a massive floodgate. Or even if I can just land it, like say here as well. And they didn't actually attack me, which is brilliant. That's really really good. Again, they've kind of thrown one single army out here as well, which I'm really tempted to go and kill. But I, I, I kind of want my men to be retrained before I do go in. Because if we can go at another Athenian army, they can't have many left. Like, because we, at Pella, we gave them a beating. We pretty much destroyed, like, two full stacks. And then we just killed another stack there. They've got one stack left here. There is much to be said for generosity oh, between I'm friends. So it profits both parties. Don't uh, you They've agree? got a defensive alliance. With a whole, so the whole of Africa is in a defensive alliance. But I don't really care, like, at what, Africa aren't going to cause me a problem. Everyone likes me in Africa, don't they? Yeah, everyone is just alright with me in Africa. So I'm going to set to climb that. I'd much rather keep the money, I think. The, the other eastern factions as well might come over pretty soon. Which is kind of scary. It is an honor Can we land on here as well? Returning to shore. So yeah, cool. We actually landed on here. 
Meaning, I'm going to go ahead and hit Sparta, take their capital from under them. And when I attack Sparta, then that means I can push upwards as well. And then take Athens, and then, yeah, that's probably what I should have done in the first place, really. Uh, did my agents upgrade as well? They did, by the looks of that. Per actions, success, campaign movement, and chance of evading agents. So I guess authority is probably the best one to pick. I think they both leveled up as well, which is cool. Yeah, this legion is so good. If you look at its, its stats as well, it's got so many traditions, whereas this one doesn't. The Macedonian legion does not have any traditions, which kind of sucks. So I really need to be bringing this one down. And they're actually finally starting to get happy as well in this place, which is brilliant. I'll go to the barracks as well. We'll leave them there. We'll leave them there for just for a little bit. But yeah, so when they're actually relatively happy, we will move this army probably across and just attack Pella again. Because if we can take Pella and we can take Sparta, then that's the Spartans' hour, is it not? Yeah, they only have two places. So if we can take both Pella and Sparta, uh, then that's brilliant. That's just them knocked out straight away. And we're gonna stick this army in, Rome right, just to make them a lot happier. And now the slums have been destroyed. They are actually happy. Oh, what do I need? I guess just more commercial stuff, more money will be nice. Upgrade that. Probably should start upgrading these provinces as well to make them bigger cities. Probably be a good idea. Cool, that's all my money. Every time again, I kind of should be wrapping up this episode because we've been fighting, we've been playing it for a long time, but I'm just having so much fun. I kind of lose track of time. The Athenians will probably push on me this turn. They, may, they move a little bit closer. But that's fine. Like, I do not mind in the slide. They're fortifying as well, meaning we'll have to actually attack a fort. Which is probably not the smartest idea. So we're probably actually just going to let them... Let them chill for a while. Just sitting there. If they want to sit there, that's fine. I'm just going to destroy... Sparta. Which is a brilliant... And they're in Epimanus, <laughs> the, the city up here, they'll be happy, like, next turn as well, actually, like, really happy, which is good. And that means their culture will hopefully be going to Latin, even though they'll probably already be a Latin culture because they're Greek. I don't know, I guess they'd be a Greek culture. But hopefully they're, 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 they'll be moving over. Oh my god, so many fucking annoying things. Okay, cool. It's because this place is just, like, getting destroyed because of all their crap that they're doing. All these agents are just harassing me non-stop. Okay. And I can't assassinate any of them yet. We're well, getting yeah, say, oh, this agent might have a good chance. I'm going to give it a go. Enemy wounded. Good. Fuck off, you prick. So, yeah, it's one of them killed off, which is nice. This place is almost happy. Uh, yeah, they are actually losing, losing their Greek culture by the look, looks of it. Uh, yeah, they're starting to become Latin from Greek. Which is good. Yeah, that's brilliant. We can actually also recruit dignitaries as well. Oh, tax. I could probably grab that. Uh, so yeah, dignitaries. What do dignitaries do? Dignitaries, does it say what they do? Might as well recruit one just to see. What do you wish of me? Let's whip up whip up the old Wikipedia. If it'll load. Uh, dignitaries, description. Tend to both military and civil administrations through acts of the enemy, generals, hinder governments and commercial So by the looks of it, I think they make the enemy culture go towards you quicker. So if I was to stick him here, then hopefully the culture will go to me, I think. A lot quicker really than it would normally. I, I, I really want to fight that army, but I don't want to risk it because they're fortified as well. And they've got some Athenian guards as well, which look fairly strong, which is kind of scary. But this army isn't, isn't anything special. Command. I should be able to do fine against Ready it. Yeah, Sparta, Sparta is completely undefended. So, auto resolve it. How many men would I lose? 
Uh, we can retrain men, so that's fine. I kind of really want to raise the city, but I, I probably shouldn't. Well, we lost a load of men as well, fuck. So, Lego 4's got another tradition, which is good. Fuck, I took so many casualties there, that was probably really dumb of me. Because now they're just going to move men down and probably just retake it. Yeah, that was really stupid of me. <laughs> Fuck, I'm, so, I'm such an idiot. Uh, we need to recruit a load of men now to defend it. And probably not that many men. And some cav, yeah. Cool. Because they're going to come straight back down next turn. And it's going to be very hard to defend it with this few, few men. I oh, don't have any money, do we, to make it Roman? Which is fine. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. We've done... The war has been raging on. I probably just made a massive mistake. Oh, they're not even... Go Fuck, they're making a big push for Apollonia. Like, a really big push. They've got so... The Spartans have so many men. But that's really good that they didn't actually go down to Sparta to retake it. Because that means my, my army can now retrain. I've lost a load of men, which is unfortunate. But it, it just means I can retrain my, retrain my army, which is good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in the episode here. Next episode, we will be defending Apollonia against the Spartan Horde, which is appearing apparently. Which is kind of scary. And it'll probably make, break my computer or something, just because they have this sheer... so many men. So it'll probably be a really laggy battle or something. So I might even have to skip over it. I'm not even sure. Because I don't really want to show you guys, like... Even if they are epic big battles, I don't really want to have, like, a really like, a laggy battle. Because it's just not fun to watch. Just something jumping around, so... I'll probably end up skipping over it. A uh, non-aggression pact. I'm more than happy to do that. Non-aggression pact is lovely. Thank you. So yeah, what we need to do is just rebuild in Sparta. Then Athens is ours, and then we push forward, and that's that's beautiful. Because like the thing is, the the Greek city states will not be that hard to get rid of. Like I can pretty much kill them. They only have like four cities between them. So, I could probably, like, push them back really easily. Because that army's army recruit, that just revives so many. That's brilliant. So, yeah, that's completely safe. There's just so many men here. Ready for battle. Which is very, very scary. Uh, yeah, that looks very, very good. We'll go ahead and grab that ability. And do the same there. Also, what we're going to do That's is, because our place is relatively happy, we're going to have to move this army down, just to defend it. Destination reached. And um, we'll all? stick these dudes in four, we can't even fortify them. But yeah, this we army's just going to chill here, because they've got so many men here, we need to bring up men, defensively. Yes. And we also have our fleet here as well, which is kind of cool. They're going to be unhappy all of a sudden. Hopefully I can use my dignitary, actually. How can, I can I not? No, I can't. Can't do any of that. Ready, willing, and able. What can he do here? Well, do you do something to my own armies out of interest? Because I, I this is the first time I've actually ever used a dignitary. I can't. And will not. You can also assassinate people as well. What a lad. Uh, let's go ahead, mislead, general attributes may not be reduced below 1. So, oh, so it just reduces his skill level. And let's do, just do that. Hopefully, you know, you just might as well start leveling him up. It failed, which is fine. Let's just do the same. Oh, we don't assassinate yet. He's actually just getting really strong. Uh, that could be quite good. Actually, let's just poison the well. So, oh, we failed. That was a 55% chance as well. Even though she leveled up to level 5. Which is really high. Uh, one authority. Uh, what does that do? Assassination. Oh, we want that. Plus 20% successful chance, so let's go ahead and boost that up. We definitely want to be assassinating people. 
We hunger for battle. We do hunger for battle indeed. So yeah, as I was saying, I am going to go ahead and end the episode here now. Um, the armies, I guess, next episode will be fighting this big old bulk. And if we kill this, then Greece is pretty much ours. Like, we can pretty much just steamroll it, I'm hoping. At your command. Because I don't see why we would not be able to. Considering they haven't really got a lot of men left. Like, oh, we can also move over this army as well, which is brilliant. They're going to be unhappy, which is uh, what I expected. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise a small army. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Just to be a garrison force there. So yeah, pretty much, pretty much all he's going to do is just have a few... Just a few levies and he's going to chill there and just defend it, basically. That's kind of what I should be doing everywhere. Is just be like setting up because I can have a maximum of 12 leaders, 12 armies, so I might as well use that to my benefit. But just using them as like garrison forces, as it were. So I don't see why that wouldn't be a smart idea. Like I could do the same here. I might as well just build up an army. Uh, doesn't really matter who. Uh, raise army. Oh, uh, what do I want to do? Yeah, might as well just raise an army. Oh no, I don't want to do a fleet, what the fuck, okay. I'll do that all next episode anyway, so yeah, next episode we fight a big ass bulk and we push on and hopefully take Athens and then that's just awesome. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this, please go and like and subscribe, that'd be amazing, and I'll see you guys next time, so fish out.